Reformed Theological Seminary is the largest Reformed Evangelical Seminary in the world. RTS, for over 50 years, has been committed to graduate theological education and pastoral preparation that is based on the inerrant Word of God, is committed to Reformed theology as it is set out in the Westminster Confession of Faith and Catechisms, and is deliberately focused on the Great Commission of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's so important for students of the Word of God to be well trained in the handling of the Word of God. And what a school like Reformed Theological Seminary equips a student to do is to think deeply about God's Word. So an absolute rock solid commitment to the Word of God and that permeates everything that all of the classes, all of the coursework, wants to be getting students deep into the Word of God because we believe that the Word of God is really what is necessary and sufficient to do the work of God in the church. We're also reformed in our theology. R is in the name. I mean, if you come to RTS, you know that you're coming to Reformed Theological Seminary. So we're not ashamed at all to say Reformed theology makes God very big and it makes us very small. And we think that's the way to do ministry. We need a God who has done all of it from start to finish to save us from our sins. And that gets to the heart of the good news and really the heart of what it means to be reformed. We know that we're reformed but we are also committed to serving the whole of the evangelical church. So we tell people we're confessional, we're reformed, we're evangelical. Our attitude towards the larger evangelical world is how may we serve you? We want to benefit you, we want to help you, we want to be a part of this larger work of the gospel outside of the reformed and confessional world. And so RTS has always had a warm relationship with a larger evangelical world, and it's why over half of our students tend to come from that background. I can't imagine a better place to come and get an education. Faculty who are knowledgeable, and carrying a curriculum that is rooted in foundational writing, ancient writings, and yet also an approach to ministry that is very much recognizes the modern pressures of ministry. The church must be equipped to face that rising tide of secularism, which really is not just a tide, it's more like a flood. We can look around and decry the culture that is losing its way and has become adrift from its moorings. Really, the fault lies in a low view of God, in the destruction of the pulpit, where the preacher would stand up week after week in generations past and say, thus says the Lord. So yes, we want people to be trained up in the best academic scholarship that there is in the field, but even more importantly than that, training people to be faithful and fruitful pastors, missionaries, counselors, Bible study leaders, ministers in the local church. So there's a real heart for God, a passion for people, a commitment to see these great truths passed on to the next generation. I work at Ligonier Ministries and our desire week in and week out is to equip students to be better students of God's Word. In effect, what we want is to have the types of parishioners sitting in congregations listening to the types of preachers that RTS is producing. I think RTS is exactly what is needed in the Christian world today, in this circumstance. And by God's grace, it's already been built. It's here. So it's our responsibility to steward this resource that has been given to the church and to continue its legacy and influence in our own time and in the generation to come.